This is the Music History Today podcast for September 1st. On today's show, Apple makes a musical misstep and Boz Skaggs joins a group. First up, though, on this date in 1949, Dean Martin married actress Jean Beeger. In 1952, Ray Charles signed a record deal with Atlantic Records. In 1963, Cliff Richard and the Shadows became the first British rock band to play a gig in Israel. In 1967, Boz Skaggs joined the Steve Miller Band. Boz would later go on to have an incredibly successful solo career. Also in 1967, the Beatles decided to become their own managers after the death of their manager, Brian Epstein. In 1970, Barry Gibb of the Bee Gees married beauty contestant Miss Edinburgh herself, Linda Ann Gray. In 1971, the Rolling Stones sued their manager, Alan Klein. In 1980, Fleetwood Mac ended their tour. In 1998, the group Little Big Town was formed. In 2000, the kids group Kids Bop was formed. In 2001, Stevie Wonder married fashion designer Kai Millard Morris. In 2006, Phil Spector married his wife Rachel Short. In 2007, Usher married hair and wardrobe stylist Tamika Foster. In 2010, Apple's iTunes started their own social media network called Ping. Who remembers that one? And then, yeah, and that's because it only lasted for two years before they shut it down. In 2011, Billy Joe Armstrong was forced off of a Southwest Airlines flight because the flight attendant said that his pants were too saggy. Southwest Airlines apologized for that, the first of many apologies that airline would give among the years. In 2018, Aretha Franklin's funeral was held, but during the ceremony, Bishop Charles H. Ellis III was accused of groping Ariana Grande, to which he admitted to it and later apologized. And in 2020, BTS became the first K-pop group to hit number one on the Billboard Hot 100 singles chart with the song Dynamite. In classical music, in 1785, Mozart published his sixth string quartet, Opus 10. In theater, in 1989, the revival of the musical Anything Goes closed on Broadway. And in 1990, the musical Jerome Robbins Broadway was closed. In award ceremonies that were held on September 1st in 2005, Green Day won Video of the Year for Boulevard of Broken Dreams at the MTV Video Music Awards. Albums that were released on September 1st include in 1965 when the Hollies released Here, Here. In 1967, John Mayall and the Blues Breakers released Crusade. In 1971, Cat Stevens released Teaser and the Firecat. In 1975, The Grateful Dead released Blues for Allah. In 1977, Rush released A Farewell to Kings. In 1978, 10CC released Bloody Tourists and Molly Hatchet released their self-titled album. In 1979, U2 released their EP, U2 3. In 1980, Simple Minds released Empires and Dance. Also on that same day, Jethro Tull released A. In 1981, Hall & Oates released Private Eyes. In 1986, the Cocktoo Twins released their EP, Love's Easy Tears, and Tina Turner released Break Every Rule. In 1987, R.E.M. released Document. In 1989, Motley Crue released Dr. Feelgood. In 1992, Thomas Anders released Down on Sunset, and the Ramones released Mondo Bizarro. In 1995, The Lighthouse Family released Ocean Drive. In 1997, The Buzzcocks released I Don't Mind The Buzzcocks. In 1998, Ace of Base released Cruel Summer. In 2002, Tonic released Head On Straight. And in 2009, The Apples and Stereo released Number One Hits Explosion. Singles that were released in the UK on September 1st include in 1967 when the Birds released Lady Friend and The Temptations did a twofer. They released I've Been Good to You and You're My Everything. In 1972, the Carpenters released Goodbye to Love and David Bowie released John, I'm Only Dancing. 
Meanwhile in America, in 1961, Aretha Franklin released Rockabye Your Baby with a Dixie Melody and Jerry Lee Lewis released Save the Last Dance for Me. In 1974, Rush released Finding My Way. In 1983, The Romantics released Talking in Your Sleep, a top 10 smash hit. In 1986, The Bangles released their number one smash hit, Walk Like an Egyptian. And in 1993, Billy Joel released his hit, River of Dreams. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcast from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on September 1st include singer and actress Zendaya, singer Jungkook of BTS, singer Gloria Estefan of Gloria Estefan and Miami Sound Machine, Barry Gibb of the Bee Gees, singer Boxcar Willie, composer Johan Pachelbel, singer Megan Nicole, rapper Tion Wayne, singer Finn Argus, Ricky Horror of Motionless in White, country music singer Conway Twitty, Joe Troman of Fall Out Boy, Greg Errico of Sly and the Family Stone, Peter Hewson of Chicory Tip, singer Archie Bell of Archie Bell and the Drells, Russ Field of Shawatawati, Tommy Evans of The Drifters, singer Leroy Sanchez, drummer Sarah Jones of Harry Styles' band, singer Bianca Ryan, rapper Loredana Zeffi, saxophonist Art Pepper, Bruce Foxton of The Jam, singer J.D. Fortune of In Excess, Marshall Little of Bill Haley and the Comets, Omar Rodriguez Lopez of The Mars Volta, singer Diane Ray, Conductor for the Boston Symphony, Shazy Ozawa, multi instrumentalist Bruce Johnstone, singer and composer Joseph Williams, bassist Cass Lewis of Skunk Anansi, jazz saxophonist Boney James, singer songwriter Grant Lee Phillips of Grant Lee Buffalo, country music singer songwriter Charlie Robinson, singer and actor Craig McLaughlin, drummer Peter Brown of Wheatus, bassist Baby Daddy of the Scissor Sisters, Camille Valesco of American Idol fame, and guitarist Harry Leahy. Artists who unfortunately passed away on September 1st include composer Johann Ernst Bach, who passed away in 1777 at the age of 55. Organist Edward Hodges passed away in 1867 at the age of 71. Composer Johannes Habert passed away in 1896 at the age of 62. Composer Samuel Coleridge Taylor passed away in 1912 at the age of 37. Horn player Dennis Brain was killed in a car accident in 1957 at the age of 38. Songwriter Jack Norworth passed away in 1959 at the age of 80. Organist Otto Olson passed away in 1964 at the age of 84. Composer Granville English passed away in 1968 at the age of 69. Composer William Flanagan committed suicide in 1969 at the age of 46. Ragtime composer May Alfterhide passed away in 1972 at the age of 84. Singer and actress Ethel Waters passed away in 1977 at the age of 76. Pianist Clifford M. Curzon passed away in 1982 at the age of 75. Album cover artist Neon Park passed away from ALS in 1993 at the age of 52. Singer and actress Benet Venuda passed away in 1995 at the age of 84. Blues musician R.L. Burnside passed away in 2005 at the age of 78. Jake Brockman of the group Echo and the Bunnymen passed away in a motorcycle accident in 2009 at the age of 53. Lyricist Hal David passed away in 2012 at the age of 91. 
Singer Joe Kelly of the group Shadows of Night passed away from cancer in 2013 at the age of 67. DJ Eric Marillo passed away from a drug overdose in 2020, three days before he was scheduled to appear in court on sexual assault charges. Eric Marillo was 49 years old at the time. And country rock singer, songwriter, and entrepreneur extraordinaire Mr. Jimmy Buffett, who popularized the Key West, Florida beach vibe and whose legion of fans were called Parrot Heads, passed away in 2023 at the age of 76. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is September 2nd when in 1995, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Museum opened in Cleveland, Ohio. 